let's talk about stamps. Hey guys, this is Dawson's Designs, and today we are diving into stamps. And no, not the stamps you get from the post office, I meant the stamps for ceramic pieces. I got a whole array of stamps to show you here, and we're just gonna go through like a whole variety of my collection, just to like give you a, a grasp of what they are, what they do, and how you can apply it to your ceramic pieces. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm just gonna categorize all of these by like what material the stamp is, uh, how big the stamp is, and the functionality of the stamp. So the first one we got here is these wooden stamps right here. Let me see if I can focus this, yeah. So this one is made from a company called MKM. I think you can look some of their products up there. I'll see if I could put a link in the description. Um, I think they just number these by model, depending on what stamp you get. But I got two of these here. So this is a uh, kind of like a autumn leaf, maybe a spring leaf. Maybe you guys put in the comments below what this is. Um, this is a two-sided one, so you got one that kind of sticks out here, and you kind of have one that's uh, hollowed out, so you have a uh, indent on the ceramic piece you have. And with this one, we got a, it looks like a Celtic symbol, maybe, I might be wrong, maybe you guys know. Uh, again, made from MKM, uh, two-sided. These, I think I bought these for around $10 per block it might be more might be less depending on where you get it from but these are actually really handy like these really stick onto the piece really well because i think maybe it's the kind of material this is used this is made of wood so you know you can kind of see like the grains in the uh stamp like look at that detail that's crazy so yeah Really great stamps, um, very inexpensive. Um, yeah, definitely recommend them. The second set of stamps we're gonna see here are some ceramic stamps. Um, and as you can see, I got my old logo here. It kinda looks like the Deadpool logo, but I am no longer making these, so you won't be seeing me making these anymore. So these are just more sample pieces from now on. Please, Marble. Don't uh, sue me. Now, these right here, as you can notice, they got a slight uh, glossy finish because I actually glazed these. And I think it's kind of essential that you should do that because not only gives you a better grip when you're doing it, but also it makes it where the clay is a lot harder. So it's uh, more suitable to uh, press down on that clay you're working with. I got another one here to show you too. Uh, same thing. Uh, this one's a little bit more of a bottleneck kind of design. So you kind of press it in deeper. So there's a more better indent of it showing. Also use this as a sample piece. And these are actually not glazed. So these are actually feel a little bit smoother. I can tell. Well, same with the glaze, but it's like almost like a powder smooth consistency because these have not been glazed. This one is just a shallow one. I will keep you in mind that when you're making a stamp, and I might do a tutorial on how to do it in another video sometime, but the one thing you want to notice too is that you don't want to make them where there's like no um, design coming out of the stamp because this is all shallow. And when I tried stamping into it, and we're gonna do all, all of these stamps with a piece of clay here today, um, it won't really show that well. You wanna use something like this that kind of sticks out better so it really shows itself on the clay better when you have it like this. And then we got the Steve tools. You'll notice that these stamps have a uh, rotary wheel. So with these, you can roll out the stamp in a very long streak, and you can get more coverage with these than you would with these. Of course, there are different textures and combinations you can choose from, and you can get very creative with these. All right, we're gonna demonstrate this by using a very thick 
slab of clay to see how well they print. Okay, so now we can see how well they printed. On this side of the clay, we got our uh, singular hand stamps, or just the wooden and ceramic stamps. These top right and left stamps are the wooden ones. So you can see here that a uh, leaf stamp actually prints very well, and same with the Celtic symbol. It, it kind of gives it a different look because, you know, each side of the stamp resembles it differently, but it still shows the same image. And my stamps, which is the D&D, &D, the, not Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> uh, Dawson's Designs, prints pretty good. Um, this one was from the orange stamp. This one was the brown stamp, and that one actually prints very deep. And this one, uh, this one, I call this the Half-Life uh, stamp. Yeah, for all you uh, Half-Life uh, fans out there. This one turned out pretty good. Um, not the most significantly detailed one, but, you know, pretty close to it. So, yeah, and the last one here, this one is the Legend of Zelda stamp. Actually, it turned out pretty well, I will admit. I thought it wouldn't work as well, but I think when you have softer clay, like... Um, sold age 60 or something like that or maybe porcelain um it really shows up really well but if you have like leather dry clay that's been sitting out for a couple hours then it would uh not really work out as well and now for the steve tool stamps the polka dot one this one printed pretty decently um it kind of faded out when you start rolling it but then when you get to the middle of the uh piece of clay you have it really shows really well so i give it a, like a seven out of ten nothing too fancy but it still shows something and nothing the squiggly looking stamp i don't know what to describe this was literally the opposite um it looks like it prints okay but you can kind of see it looks a little bare in some spots so i kind of give that one of a three out of ten but this one though this one turned out really good in fact i actually use this steve tool here this is the one i used this one i used for like a lot of my uh water fountains i, I uh, create and i use usually use either this stamp or the surf stamp which we're gonna see right here now the surf stamp like the wave stamp turned out pretty okay actually um i kind of did it twice because i want to see what it looks like if i roll it twice and the one on the top is the end result and then the one on the bottom is just me rolling it once so that one i give a solid eight out of ten you can do a lot with these uh steve tools you can even combine them and i'm actually gonna do that right now just for fun so yeah <laughs> um yeah it kind of looks like a uh, van gogh painting if you ask me the things you can do with stamps all right that's going to be it for this video make sure you subscribe to my channel also follow me on instagram i'll put the link in the description below and thanks for watching i'll see you in my next video peace